Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation, which is 27 s to power a minus 9 s to power a is equal to 3 s to power a. So here we will try to find the value of a. Now here in this problem, first of all, we will change the base in the left hand side to its exponential form. So here in the left hand side, we can write this 27 as 3 s to power 3 because 27 is the product of 3 times 3 or less to power a minus we can write 9 as 3 square or 3 is to power 2 or less to power a is equal to right hand side will be the same 3 is to power a now here in the left hand side we will use a famous exponential math property so here we will use this one exponential math property r s to power m over s to power n can also be written as r s to power n over s to power m so by using this exponential property here in the left hand side the left hand side will become here we will interchange the position of these powers so it will become 3 raised to power a whole cube minus 3 raised to power a whole square is equal to 3 raised to power a no matter this look at to all the terms in both sides here is 3 raised to power a in the base so here we'll, we will make a supposition. So let us suppose let this 3 raised to power a is equal to x. And here we will replace 3 raised to power a with x. So this equation will become x cube minus x square is equal to x here we will take this x to the left hand side so it will become negative x and this equation will become x cube minus x square minus x is equal to 0 now we will take x common from all the terms from the left hand side so it will become taking x common will become x square minus x minus 1 will be 0 and here the product of these two expression is 0 so here either x will be 0 or this quadratic equation will be 0 so from this equation we can write x is equal to 0 or x square minus x minus 1 is equal to 0 and here first we will solve this one equation x is equal to 0 since x is equal to 3 to power a we suppose it in the start of the question so we will replace x with 3 to power a is equal to 0 now here the solution of this one equation is not exists so here we will reject it now we will solve this quadratic equation x square minus x minus 1 is equal to 0 so here we cannot solve this quadratic equation by factorization method so here we will use the quadratic formula to find the roots of this quadratic equation so first we will write the values of a b and c the value of a is 1 the value of b is minus 1 and the value of c is also minus 1 now the quadratic formula is x is equal to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 a c divided by 2 a and here we will replace a b c with its L values so it will become x is equal to minus b the value of minus b is minus 1 plus minus the root of b square it is minus 1 square minus 4 a c divided by 2 a so next it will become x is equal to here negative times negative is positive 1 plus minus square root of minus 1 square is plus 1 
negative time negative is positive and 4 times 1 times 1 is 4 divided by 2 so next it will become x is equal to 1 plus minus it will become square root of 5 divided by 2 so here we have two possible values of x one is x is equal to 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 and the second is x is equal to 1 minus square root of 5 divided by 2 now next we will replace x with its value that we suppose in the start of the question that is 3 raised to power a and we will solve these two equations so we will do these steps here now the last two values of x are x is equal to 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 and the second value is x is equal to 1 minus square root of 5 divided by 2 and here we will replace x with its supposition value that is 3 raised to power a so it will become 3 raised to power a is equal to 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 and here we will take log on both sides to find the value of a so let us take log on both sides of this equation so it will become log of 3 raised to power a is equal to log of 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 now here in the left hand side we will use a log property and we will move this power to the front of log so this will become a times log of 3 is equal to the right hand side will be the same log of 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 now we will divide both side by log of 3 to eliminate this log of 3 from the left hand side so here in the left hand side we will cancel this log of 3 with this log of 3 so only a will be left here in the left hand side is equal to log of 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 whole divided by log of 3 now here in the right hand side of this equation we will use another log property log of division of two numbers so here we will use this one log property in the right hand side log of a divided by log of b can also be written as log of a with base b so by using this log property here in the right hand side of this equation this equation will become a is equal to it will become log of here we will write the numerator that is 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 and we will write 3 in the base here so finally a is equal to log of 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 with base 3 is our second value of a now we will solve the second equation that is x is equal to 1 minus square root of 5 divided by 2 so we will solve it here now first we will replace x with its value that is x is equal to 3 raised to power a is equal to 1 minus square root of 5 divided by 2 now here for any real number a 3 raised to power a is always positive now here if we calculate this one value using a calculator so this is a negative value and we know that in mathematics that a positive value cannot be equal to a negative value so here we will reject to find the solution here and we will not try to find the value of a here so here we have only one solution that is this one a is equal to log of 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 with base 3 and in last if you like this video so don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel thanks for watching